All right, um, well, first, uh, I just want to talk about the book. Um, what prompted you guys to do a book, finally? Oh, man. Well, we just had compiled, like, just tons of stuff and over the years. And, uh, you know, we kind of wanted to give people a glimpse of, like, what it was like back when we first started our band. Like, for kids that might not know what it was like to have to go to Kinko's and print flyers all night for shows and stuff. Um, and it's also, for people that do know that 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 world in that time like it's cool to just look back and reminisce you know cool. anything we, that... um, I used to always every show that we would play I would always save flyers and then I would um, give them my brother and he would kind of he was kind of our like band historian he would keep everything organized and for years we just had books and books of just flyers just sitting in storage and finally we just kind of decided to do something so we took uh, like a bunch of old posters and flyers and then each person in the band would pick like you know six or so of the of those flyers and then kind of talk about a memory that we had about that show um so that's kind of how we uh there's some like short stories about some of the shows in the book awesome um uh, this year it's uh, you guys real big fish um some of the older bands do you feel warp tour is kind of returning back to form a little bit yeah I, i'm definitely feeling that this year um it's cool i like that there's less stages and you know you, kind of really pick the band, really pick bands that were, you know, going to mesh well together, you know, so it's a good, yeah. good mix. I think Warp Tour is kind of, I think you kind of have a, you have to have a little bit of everything for Warp Tour now, because there's so many different kinds of people that like different kind of music, and that's kind of what makes it special, everyone like coming together, whether you like heavier music, whether you like ska, whether you like punk rock, that's kind of what made Warp Tour cool when, when, um, when I started out first going to them. Um, but for me personally, like just having Less Than Jake, normally every time we would do Warp Tour, Less Than Jake would be on the next year. So this is finally like the first time where both of our bands are on at the same time. So to me, like when I initially saw that Less Than Jake was playing, like that's all I needed to see. Like I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have a great summer just hanging out with them, but it's really, uh, you know, it's cool. Like Sum 41 just started on today. So it'll be cool to hang with them. Yellow Card we just did a tour with, and they're out. So it's just, uh, it'll be a lot of fun this summer. Awesome. Um, I would say like the late '90s, 2000s were definitely like kind of like the golden age for like pop punk and like emo music. Um, would you feel it's sort of like a resurgence with it? Yeah, I mean, in a way. I mean, I feel like it really. I feel like, like how you said, late '90s, early 2000s, like it was really big, especially like on MTV and radio and stuff. Um, and then that kind of stopped happening for a little bit, but I don't think it really, like, got smaller, you know? I think it was still always there and still always the same. Big shows and, you know, cool bands starting, and, and now it's, I think people are paying attention to it more again, you know, but I don't think in between that it didn't really, I feel like it didn't really go anywhere. I, I feel like it didn't go away, but I think now there's more bands that have come up, like, uh, bands like you know like state champs or story so far and those sort of bands that are doing well um so i think it just adds like a little bit more of an excitement you don't have like really so much of the mtv and the radio anymore but there's more younger bands that are doing it doing it well so it just it got people excited again awesome and uh final questions after the work tour you guys are gonna start on uh another record correct yeah have you guys started on it yet or kicking around ideas uh, or no we're just like in the beginning of like like writing okay. still Cool. So, yeah. There's definitely some riffs that we've jammed. I know Chad has a bunch of stuff, but we haven't really sat down and started compiling stuff. I think throughout Warp Tour, um, once we get settled, we're going to start doing some demos in the back of the bus. And then um, the game plan for now, tentatively, is to uh, do some pre production in September and then hopefully get in the studio in October. Um, but we haven't, um, we don't really know how long it's going to take or when the record's going to come out. Hello! Awesome. Cool. Hi guys, uh, thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh